A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. Kendrick Lamar trolls fan with new album title release date. After the release of his wildly successful Damn album, Kendrick Lamar has changed the title and release date of his next album. While fans have awaited this new album for months, they are now thrilled to know when it'll finally arrive. Here's why. Here's why the name change is a good thing. It gives fans some clues as to what the album is going to be about. Mr. Morella 26 The Big Steppers The rapper recently revealed the title and release date for his upcoming fifth studio album. The title is a play on his name, and the rapper jokingly told a fan that he was officially retiring and that he was ready to move on. Lamar replied with a link to his website, and the rest, as they say, is history. The new album, Mr. Morella 26 The Massive Steppers, is set for a May 13 release date. It seems that fans are already reacting to the news of Kendrick Lamar's upcoming album. Fans have been waiting for the announcement of his new album title for months, and they have been anticipating it for a long time. Despite being on hiatus for several years, the rapper has already released two albums and won a Grammy for his latest. The latest album, Damn, earned him a Pulitzer Prize. The song Humble, from his new album, was certified seven times platinum. Lamar has also curated the soundtrack for Marvel's Black Panther, which will be played at the 2022 Super Bowl halftime show. In addition, he has collaborated with 50 Cent for the soundtrack following his surprise announcement of the release of his new album. The rapper apologized for accidentally tweeting the name of his upcoming album. However, the rapper did apologize for the error and promised a more appropriate release date. Those who missed his tweets should be aware of his previous statements and actions. Just remember that these rants aren't the last time he trolled fans. Kendrick Lamar's Debut Album Section point eight zero was Kendrick Lamar's debut album, released on July 2, 2011. The rapper focused on topics like the 1980s crack epidemic, racism, and medication tolerance. The album was a critical and commercial success, and many fans are looking forward to Section 80's return. To learn more about Kendrick Lamar's new album, read on. We'll discuss its themes and how it came to be. The release date is the latest buzz about the rapper's upcoming album. The rapper has shared a link to a press release on Twitter announcing the new album. The new album will be entitled Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers and is expected to be released on May 13, 2022. Fans should stay tuned for the announcement as this is the first official release date of the album. As previously reported, the rapper has been busy with acting and building his Glang label. During his performance at the Super Bowl LVI halftime show, Kendrick Lamar collaborated with Eminem and Dr. Dre. The song Family Ties earned him a Grammy for Best Rap Performance. It was an unforgettable show and the crowd erupted in a place in Compton, California. Kendrick Lamar grew up in the midst of gang life. His parents, who had once been involved in the Gangster Disciples, moved to Compton in an attempt to escape the violence. However, while he was growing up, he was a well-educated student and enjoyed writing stories. His love for writing and storytelling led him to write lyrics and music that will be admired by many. Kendrick Lamar's Return to Solo Music the news of Kendrick Lamar's upcoming solo album has fans buzzing. Fans are eagerly awaiting the follow-up to 2017's, Damn. The rapper's executive producer, Mixed by Ali, revealed in January that he was working on new material. The music producer has worked on all four of Lamar's studio albums. The news has been accompanied by cryptic messages on Instagram. It's possible that Lamar is close to releasing new solo music. This past weekend, streaming service Spotify changed Lamar's desktop profile picture. The new picture shows the rapper sporting a volunteer hoodie, striking a pensive pose. The artist has not released solo music since 2017, although he produced the Black Panther soundtrack. In the past, Lamar has collaborated with Baby Keem and other artists, releasing several joint projects. Since Damn, Lamar has collaborated with artists such as James Blake and SZA. He was also nominated for an Academy Award for his work on the soundtrack of Marvel's Black Panther film. Since then, however, Lamar hasn't released a new solo album. 
Since Dam, he has collaborated with artists including James Blake, SZA, and Polydor Records. In the meantime, fans should be on the lookout for the new album. The album is filled with diverse musical styles and genres, including pop songs and political themes. Unlike many other rappers, Lamar is a better songwriter than his peers and has more musical skills than most. Aside from being a songwriter, he also makes songs about the politics of the music industry and black oppression. If you're looking for something a little different than your typical hip-hop album, Kendrick Lamar's upcoming album is a perfect choice. Kendrick Lamar's Pulitzer Prize for Music It is hard to believe that an underground rapper from Compton has been recognized by the Pulitzer Prize for Music. But that's exactly what happened. Kendrick Lamar, a Grammy-winning artist, won the award for his album Damn. It is the first time a non-classical artist has won this prize, which is usually given to classical acts. Quartz has an analysis of Lamar's album and its impact on the world of hip-hop music Earth prizes given to music that is atypical in terms of genre, with classical and jazz musicians the usual winners. Lamar's album is a distinctly hip-hop album that tackles issues such as poverty, prejudice, and faith. While many people regard Lamar as the king of hip-hop, he has been lauded for tackling issues of faith and fame, which have historically been difficult for rappers to tackle. Anderson, the owner of Top Dog Entertainment, has wanted to make sure that people speak positively about Lamar despite his lack of mainstream recognition. While some people would say that rap music does not need a Pulitzer Prize, the award is a major marker for rap's place in us high culture. In addition to the rap genre, Lamar's album, Damn, went platinum in the U.S. within a month of its release. The album sold over a million copies in the U.S. alone and 3.1 million equivalent sales when streaming is taken into account. While this is certainly an incredible achievement, Lamar's work is not without controversy of controversial nature of Lamar's win has fueled a range of reactions in the classical and new music communities. Some of these naysayers have expressed concerns that the award could be misused. In fact, it might draw attention to issues of downward economic mobility and limited opportunities. In the meantime, the wear of Lamar's Pulitzer may help to change these naysayers' minds. Kendrick Lamar's return to Top Dog Entertainment While the timing of Lamar's return to TDE is still unclear, he has been linked to the label for the past 17 years. The label's founder Anthony Tiffith saved Kendrick's father during a robbery attempt in the 1990s. The rapper's return to Top Dog would be a great move for both of them since his breakout album Dam in 2017. Kendrick Lamar has been quiet. In the months following the release of King's Dead, the rapper wrote 14 songs for the movie's soundtrack and won the Grammy for his King's Dead performance. In 2017, he signed with Interscope Records and Dr. Dre's Aftermath imprint. Since then, the label has branched out into pop culture, signing artists from New Jersey and Tennessee. By 2017, the label's roster grew considerably, claiming 5% of the hip-hop and R&B market share. Artists on TDE have won 13 Grammys. It was announced Friday that Kendrick Lamar will be releasing his final album with the label after his contract expires at the end of 2018. Fans have been waiting for this album for five months. Top Dog is the label that propelled Lamar to fame, and it will be missed. His next album will be a rock-influenced project, which has been rumored to be a pivot from his previous catalog. While it was unclear when the rapper would release his new album, there were many rumors that the Chicago native would leave TDE to pursue his own career. The rapper was photographed on his new album Kung Fu Kenny last week, but he didn't elaborate on the timeline.